Hey, how's it going? Jeff here from Deep Cycle Battery San Diego. Today's topic is we're gonna to talk to you about volts per cell. If you have some kind of charging information that's telling you how to set your charger up and you and it gives it to you in volts per cell, let's help you um, make sense of that. So get rid of the confusion. The first thing you wanna do, I'm gonna give you a hierarchy of, of ideas here. First thing you wanna do is know your voltage system, whether it be a golf cart, boat, RV, solar system, you have a voltage that you operate on. Let's give an example, a, a boat house battery system typically is 12 volts. So you're gonna have a series of six volt batteries all ran together, or you can have a bunch of 12 volt batteries. Maybe you have a lithium iron phosphate battery, but you have a 12 volt system, okay? You have a 24 volt system in a scissor lift. You have a 36 volt system in uh, most golf carts, and golf carts also have 48 volt systems. Solar systems that are big off-grid systems will have 48 volts. Well, what does that mean? Well, you have to, number one, like I said, understand what your voltage system is so that you can easily talk to someone and, and, and uh, save yourself some money because you don't have to pay someone to tell you what you already have. What kind of battery type do you have? Lead acid batteries come in AGM, gel, and flooded. These are all representation by dummy cases. AGM and gel are lead acid. People think it's not, it is. It's sealed lead acid. This is a 12 volt battery, AGM, made by Lifeline. It's a very good company. You can't see it, but it has six cells. We're gonna talk about that in a little bit. Here we have a Trojan golf cart battery <clears throat> that has three cells. The electrolyte can be replaced by using by putting distilled water back in here, and the battery transforms that back to acid. It has three cells. Here we have a lithium iron phosphate battery, which is a great new product by Battleborn. It's not new, it's been out for a while. You're gonna start seeing these in boats. So I have a 12, let's say I have a 12 volt house, uh, house bank and I need to charge my house bank battery. Number one, I told you to know what your voltage is. Number two, what's my battery type? If I have a lead acid system, do I have flooded or do I have sealed lead acid? It may tell you that you should charge your house bank, <clears throat> which is common, in volts per cell. So if I have a 12 volt system, lead acid, I have six cells for a 12 volt system. This is a six volt battery, it only has three cells, right? But it takes two of these, so that's six. So it may say charge at 2.47 um, per cell, 2.47 volts per cell. Well, 2.47 times six will tell you what your bulk charging voltage should be, okay? Now, if it's AGM, sealed lead acid, it'll be probably about 2.40. See the difference there? 2.47, 2.40. This is why people mistakenly sometimes overcharge their AGM batteries, just that small difference. Now let's say it's a lithium battery. Well, that's gonna be something completely different. However, I'm gonna tell you in this video, just so you <clears throat> don't have to keep hunting, charge the lithium iron phosphate by Battleborn at 14.4 volts, okay, it likes that. Let's say I have a 24 volt system. Well, how many cells are in that? A 24 volt system has 12 cells, 36 volt system, 18 cells, and a 48 volt system, volt system, 24 cells. So now you can do the, the volts per cell and find out. What I'm leading to is you're gonna wanna charge your batteries and test your batteries while they're on charge. Get a, just get a voltmeter, you look up a YouTube video if you don't know how to where to set it at the volts with the DC, the direct current setting and take your probes, positive, negative, and probe the battery while it's on charge. Now that's gonna help you because you're gonna verify the charger's doing what it's supposed to do. I have on the YouTube video description a chart for flooded lead acid batteries for 12 volt, 24, 36, 48 volt systems for the different settings for bulk, absorption, float, and equalize. You can use that as a reference, okay? Um, and make sure that, and this is gonna save you a lot of money because you're gonna make sure your charging system is operating. If you just replaced your batteries, here's a clue and your batteries weren't that old, it's a good chance your charging system was not operating correctly. We just did a Duffy boat on Friday, plugged in the charger, and the charging system should have been at 14.5 volts per, per battery, uh, per two six volts, and it was not. It was at 12.7. Big problem, big problem. Um, I hope this helps you. We're gonna get into more with a lithium iron phosphate. This is a little bit different battery. You still use voltmeters to check it. Um, this is gonna replace lead acid, I think. 
um, as the price gets goes down. But nothing but great things to say about the Battleborn. I, a real quick tip, if you have an AGM setting on your boat um, or whatever device you have and you don't have a lithium profile, you can use the AGM setting, okay? And you're gonna want to float at 13.6 or lower and you're not gonna wanna equalize this. And by the way, the cool thing about lithium or the Battleborn, you don't even need to float it, okay? I hope this helps you. If you have any questions, hit us up. We're always here, shoot us an email and we'll talk to you soon. Take care, bye-bye.